Hello everyone welcome to this last episode of Modeling Monster. This is very important episode. So tune with me till the end. And I also divided this tutorial in small small tasks so it will be easy to follow along. Today our quote will be, lies the beauty of your walk in the way you walk it, or in the journey's end. This quote is given by our great King Samrat Ashoka. Our first task is to make topology in a way that it can rotate joints area smoothly. First we will do legs joints. Select the middle loop of leg and place it properly. By zoom out and in you can check proper proportion. After select back with three vertices and press Ctrl B. This will make shape like open mouth. After add loop cut in middle. Then add two loop, one up and one down. After adjust both loop in proper way. Then connect this loop with our newly created loop. Select the end vertex then shift select another loop vertex and press J to join them. After adjust the shape, make sure to spread out the loop in front region. Why you will get the idea. Add loop in thigh area. After we now go to arm joints area. It's the same process as we did with the legs joints. But model with keeping in mind that we working on arm not leg. And don't forget to add loop so watch video carefully. Now our task 2 is making lips, thickening eyelid, and modeling horns. First making lips, select the mouth inside faces and press E to extrude them inward. Hey if you don't understand the quote before it simply means beauty lies in how you're walking in your path so instead of overthinking too much of end results, give your best in present. Ok back to tutorial then go inside character body and scale extruded part in X and Y. After add loop cut in middle of lips. Then scale it little bit. Now we will smooth out the outer region of lips. So select outer lips loop and press Ctrl B and bevel. This will create smoothie lips. Now we thickened the eyelids little bit. Select the loop of eye and press Alt S to bulge out little bit. Later in this video we will adjust the eye for animation. Ok third one we will give proper shape for eyebrows. Select the edge I have selected. Then in edge menu select rotate edge clockwise. This is awesome tool for rotation of edges. There is also anti-clockwise rotation. You can experiment with this tool. And mark my words without experimenting and without experiencing yourself you can never master the tool. Here now I am adjusting the shape by turning on and off the subdivision surface modifier. Ok now we will model the horns. The process is not that much hard. Just inserting and extruding. But you should know the structure of horn will be small and rounded because we are making our character friendly and cute, not scary. But why rounded form? To understand I will give you example of men and women. In nature women are very rounded in form. As we men are like Batman boxy form. That rounded form which make women beautiful, cute and trustworthy. Until they broke our heart. He ha just kidding. This pattern round and box you will find most often in nature. So observe nature you will learn lot from it. But also keep in mind, nature also keep changing. But some principles never change.
Okay guys now very important lesson. How to install human asset in asset library. To do that go to blender.org on internet. After visiting site click on download option. Then click on demo files after click on human base meshes and your download will start. After downloading extract the zip file. Then open our blender. Go to edit then preferences. After go in file path. Then click on plus icon of add libraries after go to our file and open then select the add asset library. After change import mode to append. Then save preferences. After restart blender then go asset library you will find all human asset. Now you can drag and drop your assets in viewport. Ok now our task 3 is using the asset library asset. In asset library select stylized jaw. After drag and drop in viewport. Then make new collection for it. After scale it. To move in middle first press shift alt s and select cursor to world origin and then select our teeth and press again shift alt s but this time select. Selection to cursor. This will bring our teeth in middle. After in edit mode put your mouse on tongue and press L and press P and select separate selection. Which will separate out tongue as new object. After hide tongue. And select the teeth and in edit mode scale them. I am scaling teeth size according to character mouth size. After scaling is done go out of local view. And adjust the teeth in mouth as I am adjusting. Don't forget the teeth are attached with skull. Adjust by imagining the skull. Makes it to delete the inside faces the of mouth that we extruded earlier. After adjusting the teeth properly. Edit out the teeth bottom area which are coming outside the body. By going in local mode. See carefully how I am adjusting. Imagine his lower jawbone is rounded in shape. So edit teeth bottom in that way. Ok after teeth is fitted properly. Go to side view and bring down the tongue and adjust properly. But make sure it remains in center. And also set origin to geometry from menu object then go to set origin. After in edit mode wide the shape of tongue by scaling. Ok now we separate the teeth in two. So select first upper teeth by pressing L in edit mode but makes it to keep mouse on it before selecting. Then press P then selection. This will create selected part new object. After go to object mode and select upper teeth and go to local view. Then go to sculpting mode and select the grab brush and start to make variations in teeth. Make sure to turn on X mirror from your right hand top region. Don't make too sharp just round up them. After sculpting, go to object mode and right click and shade smooth. Then give the name upper teeth and lower teeth.
Okay now task 4 is interesting bending fingers little bit what does even that means? Well we will bend fingers little bit because during rigging it will help us lot to place bones properly. So let's do this but first I am here adjusting the hand vertices to smooth out. Ok now bending fingers. First select middle joint two vertices on both side then press shift s and select cursor to selected this will bring cursor to center of middle joint. After select the tip vertices of finger and press ctrl plus. Till middle joint is not selected after rotate it. Make so to change pivot to cursor. Then rotate the upper joint same way by making cursor in middle of upper joint. The same process is for other fingers. Don't get confused you will get it after watching two or three times. Don't worry, here simply goal is to rotate fingers little bit. Task 5 is adjusting the vertices. Oh this is very calming task. Like flowing clean water or like you are sleeping on your bed and there is raining outside and gentle smell of rain in your nose is hypnotizing you. Wow, we have to balance out the vertices and give anatomical structure to model. Be calm my friends, hee ha. Ok now task 6 which is very important. Making our character size according to real world scale. You will get what I means. To do that I will show you very easy. Visually artistic method instead of taking measurements and meters and all that math stuff. First select every object of character. Then move it upon x axis line. Makes a center should be maintained. So to move press G then Z on keyboard. You can imagine placing feet on straight ground. Ok after placement of character is done. Select our body mesh and apply mirror modifier for now. Then go to object menu then go in set origin and select origin to geometry. This will set our mesh origin to middle of our mesh. Do same process for every object.
Ok now we will add any scale reference object of real world. In this we will bring up human. So go to our assets library and add realistic human. Drop anywhere after close asset library. Then press shift s and select the option selection to cursor. Which will bring human reference in middle of world origin. After move our human to side by pressing G then X and move it. This human will act as reference scale for us. Then select all meshes of our monster character. And scale down to size of human. Or you can keep big also. It up to you. But keep always reference scale. Ok after scaling open up the side panel. Then select our body mesh and press Ctrl A and select all transform. This very important. Scale should get to 1. Do that to every object. Ok task 7 this is also very important. Eye modeling is not just to make round, omen or any shape. But you have to also think about animation. How this eyelid will close. For our character we will adjust eyelid shape like ocean shell half open. And inside instead of pearl there is eyeball. So adjust the shape as I do. Watch video carefully. Ok now last task number 8. In this we will delete one unwanted edge loop in upper region of mouth. As you can see this is the edge loop that we want to delete. So let's start. First we will apply mirror modifier again. So to do that go to edit mode by selecting body. Then select half vertices of body by using box selection tool. Press B and select the half part of body. Make so to turn on x-ray. Then delete the vertices. Then add mirror modifier and turn on clipping. Then go to object mode and check the character that mirror modifier is applied properly or not. After we will delete that loop so go again in edit mode and select the loop. After selection press X and this time makes it to select dissolve edges option. 
This will dissolve out edges but face will remain. That's what we want. After select the mouth outer loop and spread out. Now select backward loop edge that I have selected and press and dissolve edges. This dissolve edges. Now select middle vertical edge and right click and subdivide. After connect the, the vertices by pressing J. Now add loop cut in middle. Now I will do just adjusting and add loop in mouth that are our character. Watch video carefully. Okay guys we have completed our tutorial. I hope you learned lot. This is our end of monster modeling series. So goodbye. And you can support me by subscribing and sharing my channel. Thank you.